But today on the radio, we've got Bill Gerskin, who's a risk and threat analyst and a national security expert. Phil, what do you think of Johnston's report on the Chinese interference and his uh, outcome regarding the inquiry? When I read the report, I, I kind of get the opposite feeling that we don't know what we're doing and we didn't disseminate intelligence properly. And as a consequence, the failure to take action on Chinese interference in our elections isn't with the government, it's with CSIS because we didn't warn them properly in time. And that's complete BS as far as I'm concerned. So Phil, tell us, what was the reaction of the CSIS community regarding the report, obviously? And what do they think of your Ofed report that you wrote? That I'll put a uh, link in the description. A lot of my former colleagues have thanked me to the nth degree for writing this. They're also quite surprised it actually got an airing. But as you mentioned, Alex, you, you, you and the media are getting this as much as we are. Because it's all your... Nothing to see here, folks, yeah. in terms of the government. I, I think a lot of us feel betrayed. A lot of us feel that our, our commitment to Canada has been undermined. It has been uh, a lack of acknowledgement. And we just want, you know... CSIS isn't going to speak up for itself, neither is CSC, they're far too secretive, and so it kind of falls to people like myself who work there to try and tell Canadians, hey, um, these people know what they're doing, uh, mm -hmm. and, and they're very good patriotic Canadians, and they want to do their best to help our country, and I, I, I guess that's the feeling that I'm getting from people with whom I've worked over 30, 32 years. Well, the way the report's being written, it's as if CSIS are just sharing all the information amongst themselves and not giving it to Trudeau or the higher-ups. <laughs> What's your opinion on that? Well, uh, th there, there's two possibilities there, i.e. I, I, complete incompetence, and you referred to that in your introductory remarks, or the intelligence was so inconvenient that it went against policy, it went against what people would prefer that it say, it went against interest, and as a consequence, it did not get delivered up the line. But you're absolutely right. Uh, you know, we, we deal with some very, very senior people in the Canadian government. As I certainly did during my career, up to and including ministers, and so for this this notion that it wasn't passed on, as you said, it's not CSIS's fault. We, we can't dictate no. people. You, know, you, you can lead a horse to water, Alex, but you can't make him or her drink. And for me to to accept that this very important intelligence about a very serious threat to our democracy uh, was not shared, um, there is a problem. And this problem is not with the security services, it's with the customers who receive the information in the first place. If they're not sharing the information, who can we trust to keep us safe? And I'm hearing that trust for an awful lot in letters of the editor and in reaction online to these things as Canadians uh, trust in politicians. Uh, never the greatest at the best of times seems to have taken a hit. Mm -hmm. I, you know, he claimed to have talked to the director of CSIS and the chief of CSC, and I'll take him at his word for that. But uh, it was a very rushed meeting, I would imagine. And, and the bottom line is that Mr. Johnson is a fine Canadian, but he didn't spend 30 years in intelligence. And intelligence is complicated. Yeah. You can't just sit down for half an hour, an hour, and, and understand the entire process, which is why you and I are having this conversation and why I wrote the op-ed piece in the first place. But I, I think, you know, at the end of the day, Canadians have to take uh, or, or hold the prime minister and his colleagues to task. Uh, they had yeah. the information, they didn't act on it, and as a consequence, our elections were interfered with. They can't keep, you know, punting this down the road, saying nothing to see here, or deflecting blame by putting on security services. Given that Trudeau and everybody's been cleared now by this report, this is further in-depth into the report, where do we go from here? How, how can we continue from this point on? Uh, that's a great question. I, I find it disingenuous the Prime Minister is now saying how serious this threat is. And two months ago, he was saying nothing to see here, folks. The elections were affected. You can have trust in our democracy. As if Mr. Johnson or anybody else can actually measure the effect in our elections. Because last time I checked, Alex, when you go into the, into, the, into the polling booth and mark your X, no one knows how you voted and why you voted that way. And for this categorical, oh, it didn't affect the elections, I have no idea. You know, end of the day, uh, CSIS does its job. This is what we're paid to do. So CSC does its job. We, we do the best we can, and we pass intelligence up, and then basically we rely on officials who act upon it. It's, that, yeah. that's, that's their role. We've done our role. It's up to them now. So how much damage does this now do to the intelligence community? It has a huge hit on morale, I can tell you that right now. Um, there already are morale issues for a variety of reasons I won't get into, but when you're basically told that, uh, A, your intelligence is piecemeal, I've seen the word rumors thrown about in terms of describing intelligence, and that you didn't, uh, you know, you, your best product was not used. We saw the leaks to the Global Mail by mm -hmm. apparently somebody, we don't know who that person is, could be ex-thesis, could be ex cutter we don't know, but I would have guessed their frustration is, is tantamount, and, you know, I, I spent 32 years in the business and I'm now retired, but 
if I were there, my first question to myself, this being a Monday morning, is why am I going to work today? If, if everything I do to the best of my ability goes nowhere, so what's no the point? Of.